starting out a video with a time lapse is always a way to lighten the mood. So welcome back to a another episode on the Beyond Dusk mod pack server. We are making some gains here today and uh, expanded the base, as you can see. Did a little bit, uh, well, I, I, I swear I hit record, but my, uh, my, my hard drive ran out of space. I, I went too long, and uh, yeah, kind of ran out of space, so uh, uh, most of it was lost. But um, as you can probably see a little bit in the uh, mini-map up there, uh, even more has been done since what the time lapse did. And uh, we also joined Vulp on a stream and we did some stuff there. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what we did. Um, so we dug this whole room or this whole part out. You saw that in the time lapse. Uh, we added this rock here. We uh, made the tree a little bit bigger. And, um, yeah, we, uh, we also added over here, uh, we've got an offshoot now that twists around, and this is where we're doing our mystical agriculture, uh, well, this is where we have our altar for it, for the mystical, mystical ag, ag, agro, and, uh, yeah, uh, we also, uh, you, you, you guys know the basement that had the, uh, had the mob farm down there and that was basically it last time I showed you guys I think well um, things have changed a little bit down here now it's dug out to be the same dimensions as upstairs and um, you can see we still have the mob farm we've got a reactor down here as well we use mystical agriculture to get ourselves some weatherproof blocks so we've got a wither cage here that we can summon withers in and kill them in there. And um, we also have the, the power flower. We did get into EMC last episode. And uh, so, yeah, we have a power flower. It is cranking out Queen Star's Omega. And, uh, yeah, those are pumping right into our refined storage. Uh, we've got two of them going. Um, unfortunately... For me, chunk loading my base doesn't produce stars. I don't know why. It works for Vulp, but it doesn't work for me. So I'm wondering if it's because Vulp is the owner of the server and like that. Oh, I missed. Yeah, whatever. I, I can't cover those up. That's probably why I missed that. I should have made it. Yeah, more streak. But anyways. Um, so we can go back up top. That's all that's been done down here. Um, uh, 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 there we go. That was a struggle. That was a struggle. All right. So, uh, yeah, now in here, you can see if we type in star like it already is, where they are getting put directly in. Our mob farm is also going directly into this and into that um, condenser chest down there as well. Uh, made ourselves a red matter furnace just to smelt some things faster, as you can see. Look how fast that goes. Yep, that's nice to have. And uh, so, yeah, when we look in, uh, we did a lot of AFKing as well. Uh, look how many levels we put into our experience obelisk here. And uh, yeah, so if we look in here, we have 19 billion EMC right now. Which means that I can literally come in here and be like, oh, what do I want? Uh, let's see. I, I want to stack another eight blocks. Okay. Uh, how about auto inventory of another eight blocks? Yep. EMC is overpowered. But, you know, it makes the grind much better. So, we don't have to grind for many vanilla blocks. Because everything that we have unlocked in here is... Things that we don't have to grind for anymore. Which is great. Which is great. But that doesn't solve all of our problems. Because many of the mods in this mod pack. Like let's go to. Uh, let's go at uh, pneumatic craft. See. None of these have EMC value. Well. 
yeah, no, I don't think any of this has EMC value. And this is a mod that I do want to play around with. I've never used it before. And um, it looks pretty cool. I mean, you can get drones. Why not? Um, you can also, you know, get armor and cool stuff and Lego blocks, apparently. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, but anyways, I mean, this looks like a cool mod. And uh, yeah, so we're going to have to get set up into that. We've got a few of the blocks already. Um, just from looting and whatnot. Um, uh, we have a charging station, and we have some drill pipes and whatever else. Um, so yeah, that that's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, you did see that right there. There, there is a, a micro missile in there. Yeah, yeah. There's a missile. So yeah, that's interesting. But um, so yeah, these are from mystical agriculture as well. And um, yeah, that's. Uh, so far, the amount of progress that we've made on the base as of today. But one thing that I want to start doing, and this is something that came up in that alternate reality that we showed you in the first episode, uh, the very first server that we made that ended up having issues and we had to delete, and uh, now, you know, fixing the mod pack and whatever. So, uh, this was an idea that... Uh, while I was talking to Alurin, uh, or Abby, as you guys will know her from the past, she changed her name, but yeah. Um, we discussed, well, I mentioned that I wanted to make a zoo because, well, there is all kinds of cool animals because we have uh, mods that add animals to the game. Like there's kangaroos, there's emus, there's elephants. Oof, that was some lag. Anyways, I wonder what Soul, Soul is on. I wonder if he's doing something causing lag. Ah, oh, whatever. But, uh, yeah, there's lots of cool different things. And, um, yeah, we, uh, I would like to start a zoo and uh, have all these cool animals in the zoo. So that's what we're going to do over here. And uh, I built up a base design for, ow, oh, rubber banding like crazy right now. Whatever. So I built up this cool design and uh, for a pillar and because uh, we need to make some gateways or a gateway into our zoo if we're going to have one. Now, this is not complete. This is just like literally i want there to be a door that starts here and goes up i want the bottom of the top of the door to be there and it's going to be an arched door so it's going to go up even higher and so obviously this is going to get taller as well and everything will get filled out but we need to work on that today i think and uh one of the things that i want to do with with some of the mods that we have because we have uh, create mod in this as well. So we have uh, create. So yeah, we have create mod in this, and um, in this mod, there are things that allow you to move blocks in ways that blocks normally can't move in Minecraft. And so we're gonna make an actual a giant door that's made out of blocks. They're all gonna have to be get glued together. And then we're going to have a rotator block that will be sitting like down here in this corner. And it will actually swing when you will have a button or pressure plate activator or something to that effect. And when you when you get close enough to the door or, or when you pay for entry, maybe we'll do a paid for entry. I don't know. One of the two. The door will swing open nice and wide. Probably, and we'll have to do some landscaping and get some of all of it, rid of some of all of this. And uh, I want it to swing wide open, and then you have access to the zoo. And that means you're going to have to do a lot of spawn proofing, a lot of terraforming, and uh, a lot of create things, which I've never messed with the create mod at all. So this could get interesting and it could get mind-boggling for me we'll see we'll see 
So, yeah, I think that is going to be the plan for today's episode is to continue working on this gate. And, uh, well, you kind of know what that means, right? Yeah, that that kind of means I feel like we're going into another time lapse. Hmm. Two time lapses, one video? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. See you back here in just a minute. Actually, before we start the time lapse, like I was talking about, um, something I want to do first, which is, I want to change my origin. Having elytra wings is cool at all, but I gained an ability recently. Now I can just fly. I don't need wings anymore. So, I think I want to be small. Hmm. Let's let's check this out. Let's check this out. So, uh, I'm not sure if this was in the mod pack or if we had to change something for it, but uh, there are, um, let's see, origin, there's a origin orbs here. These allow you to change your, um, your origin, your, your race, and they're pretty expensive. I don't know, like I said, if these were in there, if this is something that had to be added. But, uh, so we're going to need some glass, diamond blocks, and a netherite ingot. Which, because of EMC, we are going to be able to do that just fine. Let's take our four diamond blocks. Let's grab a netherite ingot. And grab some glass as well. Not glass, glass. All right. I think it's just four. But. And then we'll come over to refined storage. We'll throw it all in there. And we'll click that. All right. So now we have that. So we're going to go ahead and learn this in our transmutation tablet. I'll just make another one to do it, though. So let's go ahead and use this orb. And check, take a look at that. We now get to pick what we are. So we could be human who has, who's just a regular Minecraft player. Oh, we've went over these before. We're looking for ones that are um, short. Hmm. Uh. One and a half blocks long. I don't know. I think I'd rather go with something that's one block or shorter. Um. All right. All right. Well, I think I have decided, and I'm gonna go with woodling. They're only a half a block tall. Friend of the forest. You uh, can't kill passive creatures. Only have seven hearts, which isn't a big deal. Uh, very cute. Villagers, give me a discount. Uh, photosynthesis. Fun, sun feeds me and gain invisibility when in a forest. Um, honey is very satisfying, which doesn't mean much. And I am flammable, but I have resistance to that. So I think I'm going to take woodling. Ooh, that was interesting. Seeing this, everything, <laughs> seeing my character shrink down and while I'm in the screen. Um, and as for this, I think I'm going to, um, go with Merchant. Yes. All right. So, yeah, we have a few less hearts than usual, but because of our, um, abilities and our ability bottle. We are, uh, well, take a look at that. We are absolutely tiny. Look at that. We're half a block tall. Whoop. Okay. Okay. Chill out. Chill out a little bit. Yeah. So we are now tiny. All right. 
the the reason I wanted to go tiny was it, it's going to help when building with redstone and things to that effect. Um, now we do have like step assist and things like that, so it's not going to hinder us much anymore. That uh, time lapse, time lapse that we we're talking about. I look tall now because of that's in the way in the background. But um, that time lapse that we were talking about. Go ahead and get that started. that uh that's enough building for today's episode but uh i think it turned out decent not 100 percent satisfied with it um especially the roof the roof might have to change we'll see there uh but for now we're gonna roll with it we're gonna say that this is pretty good but uh 
yeah, uh, let's uh, let let's do something a little different. Let's let's do some modded content, cause uh, you know this. I mean, this used some modded blocks, but like these guys here, these are an indented uh, version of those blocks. But uh, other than that, we haven't done anything with the mod today. So, except for change our origin and shrink. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, head down into the base. And uh, I think what I want to do is... Uh, get into tinkers now that I've changed my origin and I can actually wear some decent armor I think that's what I want to do so um, now to get into tinkers uh, we are going to need a smeltery so we're gonna need some uh, fortunately I already prepared some seared bricks knowing that this day would come eventually we'll get ourselves this guy here we'll learn that and oh not deer how about seared all right we'll get ourselves some of those and uh actually take back a good portion of these um so we are going to need to make the rest of the now this is the base for the the smelter but we are going to need uh the remainder of it which let's scroll over okay so this is all the stuff for the smelter so we've got uh drains we've got a lot of new stuff honestly um seared tanks we're gonna need that so let's go ahead and make ourselves some of these yeah that should be more than enough and then we are going to need uh need a faucet yeah uh probably need Basin. Am I really already out of seared brick? Yeah. 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 Using a lot of that. All right. Well, let's grab some more. And we'll grab a few stacks of it this time. Make sure we don't run out anytime soon. Okay. Here we go. All right, so let's make the basin we were after. And we are going to need one of these guys. Um, it's not doesn't have to be scorched. Probably just do with a regular casting table. Um, maybe we'll get into the scorched at some point, but yeah. Um, we could let's make one of these guys as well. Um, Make one of these just to have a side smelter that we can do some stuff with. And um, let's see here. Uh, we are going to need really. So they changed how that's done. All right. All right. It used to be just you craft that, so uh, we'll go ahead and make this guy then, and uh, we will set up this guy. Yeah, for the moment, we're just gonna plop him down over here. Let's grab some uh, copper. And grab some lava. And we'll come over here. And um, well, let's pick that back up then. And, 
bottle of the backpack. Okay. Let's get some lava in. Some fuel. And we'll slap our copper in. Can't do very much at one time. We can do a little. And throw some more in just to make sure. Slap this guy down. And we'll put that on there. And then we need one of our faucets, I believe. All right. Yes. Probably. Maybe. Look it up real quick. Since they changed it, and I don't know anything about it. Oop, that was too far. Okay, so need this. There's four ingots. We've got more than that. It's in a basin. Okay. Okay, so basin. And we'll grab this back and then that back. Basin down. That in the basin. And now we've got our controller. All right. All right. So now I have played with this particular mod quite a bit. So what we're going to do. We're going to make ourselves a nice big smelter. It's actually probably going to take up this whole wall. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to lay down the bottom layer, and then we will surround the entire, dang it, dang leaves, surround the entire thing, and leave the middle open. Definitely doesn't look like I brought enough bricks. I didn't even go all the way to the top. What am I doing? Sheesh. Alrighty. There we go. That's a little better. Alright. And usually you leave the tops of these open. And we don't want that. Can't have a roof on them, that is fine. It's just you don't need like the seared brick on top. Yeah, definitely didn't bring enough. Okay. Don't need that for the moment. Only that's the nice thing about having EMC is that you can do that kind of thing and then Put it back if you don't need it. Okay. So, there we go. We'll put that there. And we're going to put the controller. We'll put the controller here. We've got that. Now we need some fuel tanks. Now we should be able to put the fuel tanks pretty much anywhere. I have always like putting them right up the sides. So we'll do 
you. Okay, so now if we put ourselves some fuel in there, should be able to throw that in there and it should start smelting. Uh, no tank instructions. Okay. So that tank's not working there. Will this tank work? Nope. Alright. Sometimes it's a little weird. You can't put them on the corners, I guess. So we will put them like one block from here. We'll do this here. There, and there, and there. Now this should allow us to put fuel in. Yeah, there we go. See? Yeah, sometimes it doesn't like where you place them. You have to put them on the corners for some reason. And other times, you can put them on the corners and it doesn't care. So we're also going to not break the controller. We're going to just smelt that. And oh, I thought I had more tank. Uh, do these have an EMC valley? We do have those two. Put those two there for now. I do have an EMC value. Cool. If we need more, we can get more. There we go. Actually have one extra. All right. Not bad, not bad. Then we can... Yep. So we got that in. So now what we do is uh, basically anywhere on this, we can put ourselves... Uh, I didn't make one didn't make one uh we need one of these guys uh, a drain that, that would be helpful um what's the difference between them well that's different without the river Okay, so we'll go with this, all right, and go here, basically anywhere we, oh man, that was the wrong spot. My phone says it's bedtime, but it's not going to bed yet. All right, so now we can put one of these guys in. And we can put, let's say this, no, not that, put our basin guy. Is it still over there? Yeah, let's just make another basin. Uh, let's see, we'll do basin. All right, there we go. Slap this guy down. And now if we... Do that, we can pull out copper blocks worth. If we look in here, we can tell we've got seven ingots in there. So a block is nine ingots. So that's 13 more in. So we can pull all that copper out. And yeah, you get copper blocks out of it. Or any metal that you smelt down. There are some metals that are uh, tinkers specific metals that, oh uh, yeah. They are, um, <laughs> specific to tinkers, and you can only smelt them in these types of things. So, we're going to have to get ourselves more lava as well. So, let's fill the basin one more time. 
So we can also put our casting table in there. But what we're going to do, instead of putting that in the same spot, we're actually going to go ahead and make another drain. And um, this one. That way we can have a basin and a without having to pick them up. So we'll put this right here. Hopefully that'll work. Hopefully that'll work. We'll have to actually find out here. Uh, let's make, we can get cast real quick. We'll make that out of gold. some gold in and uh, the bigger that you make this is the more that it can hold really it doesn't imp improve the efficiency of it or anything like that it's just how big it or how much it can hold how much liquid so like this can this set seven blocks of ink uh, or seven blocks and one ingot okay that that won't work right there. Dang. All right. So what we're going to do is move it over. Break that guy. Now oh, this is not going to pour metal everywhere or anything like that, as you can see. And, uh, I mean, it does somewhat break your foundry for a minute. But it... Uh, Everything comes back. It doesn't just disappear on you or anything like that. So don't be scared. Break break it if you need to replace things. And then we'll just grab another ingot, slap that on there. And another we'll grab our Alright. We're making what we're doing now is we're making a cast. So that consumes the ingot, but it made a cast. Now we can use that let's say we want to make an iron ingot or an iron, a gold ingot so we can we just made a gold ingot out of that so we can we can do that and yeah so that is that and uh, now we can use this to make armor as well um, using the newer stuff with basis so is the book that we're going to need to make armor so we will uh i'm going to read up on all that because i haven't used this mod yet but uh we got our break into uh doing tinkers stuff with this and uh you know i think i think i'm gonna leave this episode here and i'm invisible again so i guess you're getting an invisible with an outlined outro i guess all right well i hope you guys did enjoy the episode i had a lot of fun uh built up that gate and this foundry so we are on a roll and uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Well, if you did enjoy, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Leave a comment about what you uh, what you enjoyed in the video, if you would. That would be great. And uh, I will catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.